appreciate that. Um, I, I think first and foremost, I'd like to thank the, uh, the University of Nebraska for uh, uh, putting on uh, an event like this. Um, uh, it's no easy task to bring three teams in and to create uh, uh, an environment that uh, replicates a championship environment. So I appreciate the hard work that uh, a lot of people have done on behalf of uh, us and certainly on behalf of, uh, behalf of the sport. Um, uh, we've been well taken care of while we're, while we're here. Um, I am, um, we're disappointed clearly because we're competitive people. Um, uh, but in that same sense, uh, we're uh, incredibly proud of our team. Um, uh, few of you will ever realize how much, you know, uh, they've had to pay to get to this, this point. Um, uh, we joked about it yesterday, that, you know, that last four out graphic and how much it is disappointing. Um, uh, but they've paid a heavy price to get to this point, and they have uh, certainly shifted the paradigm of uh, volleyball on our campus and certainly I think within the state of Arkansas and so I'm, I'm incredibly proud of the work that uh, they've done and thankful to be a small part of it. Questions for the players? Uh, Megs, what does this season mean to you and to the team? Um, I think it means everything to us. Um, being a senior is not always easy uh, but I think just everyone, you know, we go in every day, we work really hard. So I think the season means everything. We get this far and, you know, we come we come up kind of short. Everyone's goal is to win it all. But yeah, I think we've dedicated a lot of time and just crap loads of time actually. And so it means everything, you know, we breathe the sport. So can't say more about it. Uh, for both of you, the fact that you're able to We got heart. We got heart. Everybody puts it all out. None, none of us wanted to go out like that, obviously. So it means a lot to us that we were able to fight. Yeah, I mean, just going off of that, I think we go into every game knowing we can. And so kind of coming short in that first set, we're regrouped after the second set and just we just kept fighting, so. Uh, Zoe, can you uh, tell us what it means to play with Jill and Maggie? Yeah, um, these have become some of my best friends. It means everything. You're not gonna find people better better to learn from than those three and any of the seniors and any of the players we have on this team. So it means everything to learn from them and even better to be playing against side them. You know, they believe in me so much and I believe in them. So it's amazing. Hey, what, was the, what was the difference between the first and third set? You had Nebraska in a similar position, but you're able to finish the third. What was the difference between those two sets to you? Um, I mean, I think just settling in, you know, this was a, a crazy environment. I think we played really well in the first, just sometimes it doesn't go your way. And I think um, after the second set, I think we knew that wasn't us. So coming on the third set, I think we passed well. We served a, a pretty aggressive. And I think that that helped us put us in a good position to give our hitters a really good offense. Maggie, what was it like kind of quieting the crowd early on in that first set? You're up by six, and it was called six of uh, yeah, it's cool. It's you know you come in here and it's loud, and I think it hypes everyone up, both teams. Um, but yeah, I think it, it was cool because I think some people you know we're the three here and they're the one. So I think we come in and people don't really expect us to you know put up a challenge. I think we did, and so it was kind of cool to play our game and just quiet everyone down. Jason, when, when Nebraska's defense was good during stretches, what, what was really difficult about what Nebraska was doing defensively? Yeah, it was the quality of that uh, that defense. You know, it wasn't just the fact that they were uh, creating those chances. Those chances were quality chances that they're able to turn. And uh, we talked a little bit about that yesterday in that that, that phase. And I think that was what um, that really challenged us there in that that second set. Um, and. Um, uh, and then I thought um, uh, we were able to absorb that. I thought Zoe made some really quite remarkable uh, moves on um, on 13, and, and uh, she had gotten away from us. I think it's at one and set two, um, and uh, and that was the difference. I thought, and then I thought as as 
as Maggie said, I, I thought our serving kind of picked up a little bit. You know, that that, that kind of a, it kind of disrupted that first ball side out uh, a little bit. Um, Maggie went on a nice run in there that set three, um, and um, and that's what we have to do. I mean, we have to serve well. I think, um, uh, and our serving gives us a chance there in that phase. So um, I thought our serving plan tonight was really good. Actually, I thought we pressured them. Um, uh, from the, the service line, uh, quite a bit. Coach, what adjustments did you see their block make? And, I mean, you, you had kind of some openings there um, over the middle, especially. What were adjustments did you see their block make late, late in that first and early in that second? Uh, I, I don't know if I saw what you saw, perhaps, um, but um, but but certainly um, uh, they were certainly taking away some some seam shots for us um, uh, that we were we were trying to we were trying to paint some edges. Uh, but uh, early we weren't able to do that as well as we we, we needed to to do. Um, but um, uh, but that's a tight block in an out of system situation. You know they they're a really well disciplined block in that in that in that phase and uh, uh, in set two that really really kind of got to us uh, a little bit. But um, but then I thought our middles did a nice job of creating some seams for us uh, as the match went on. We kind of settled a little bit. Um, uh, I thought Courtney Jackson passed incredibly well. Tonight. I mean, I think she's she, and she covers uh, more balls than I know of any lead that can cover. Cody Jackson's really good at that. It's disappointing that they don't put that in the stat line, you know. Um, but um, but she was she was pretty good at that tonight. Kept us alive in a lot of rallies. Coach, you guys um, you guys bounced back and won the third set after a really rough second set after the break. What did you got? What did you? What was your message to your team during the break? Uh, I don't know if there's any messages there. Um, um, I, I think, uh, I think Maggie said it best. You know, hey, let's just go do our job. Um, let's go be a little bit better in this phase, uh, serving perhaps. Um, but but that's it. We did get a different matchup. Um, you know, we spun the dial a little bit. That gave us a little bit different different matchup for Taylor. Um, and uh, and I thought she got going with that matchup change. That really helped us. Um, uh, and so so that was beneficial there. I think the matchup change was more than anything. So it wasn't really Woods or anything like that. You know. Not that inspirational, I'm afraid, but uh, but the matchup changed helped a lot. You were the first team with 20 points in three of those sets. I mean, is, how hard were the last five man. points to get? Why'd you have to do that? <laughs> <laughs> this was going so great. <laughs> how hard are those last five points to get in this environment against a team like Nebraska? They're always hard, you know, um, and, um, and 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 certainly um, they're hard against teams that. Uh, can block and transition, you know, and um, and they're good at that serving phase, that transition serving phase that they're good at, um, and so it's it's difficult, you know, um, and uh, and historically we've been really good in that phase, actually, um, uh, you know, and and I thought it was one play, right? It was one play, and and that's what you find, right? As the tournament progresses, the margins get so much slimmer, you know. And, um, and there's nothing you can do to prepare for those margins, other than perhaps be in those margins before, you know. And, um, and I thought we battled uh, in those margins, and we just, it's a one play, you know, it's one play. And, um, and, and that's, but that's what you want, right? That's what you work for. You work to get to this stage, to put yourself in a chance, to make one play. And, and you don't, and it's brutally unkind, you know. It's brutally unkind. It's such a brutal finality to a season. Yeah. Jason, can you just sum up what this season has meant to you? Um, uh, personally, uh, um, yeah, personally, I think it means that, uh, that we can play good volleyball at Arkansas. And, um, and it's been a while. And, and so I take a great sense of pride in working at the University of Arkansas and being their volleyball coach and doing things that have never been done before. And, uh, and I love that. And so uh, I hurt for my athletes because I know how badly they like playing volleyball. Um, but I love that we've shifted the narrative of volleyball on our campus. I, I love that, you know, I, I love that immensely. And, um, you know, um, so it's special, and um, 
it's special that these athletes entrusted us and believed in us enough to get to this stage. And um, that's, that's really, um, I treasure this season. Thank you guys.